Hi there, thank you for watching this clip on function domain range and inverse function. This is the last portion of part three uh, examples. Now last uh, clip got cut off a little bit, so let's uh, pick up where we left off. On um, question two, we were finding the inverse function. The function itself, f of x equal to minus radical x minus one. Okay, so inverse function, you know, to find inverse function, we write the function first and then we swap an x, y. Now earlier I explained the reason we swap it is purely for a cosmetic reason. We like to have the dependent variable to be y and independent to be x. Okay, so I'm going to solve for y, so x plus 1 squared is equal to y. Now from here we see that for this function, which is, this is the inverse of x. Okay, so domain for this function has no restriction, so we're just going to write x x belongs to the real, and the range has no restriction either, so y is belong to r. Okay, that's it. Let's go on to example three. For example three, we have f of x equal to x squared plus one. Now, this one, it's a pretty easy function to graph. This is actually one, zero, one. Okay, so it's a concave up parabola. The reason they give you a restriction s is less than or equal to zero, it's only this chunk is okay, is that it forces the inverse function to be a one-on-one -on -one relation, thus become a function. Okay, so for this particular one, normally for function y equal to x squared plus one, we don't have any restrictions. But for this particular one, they're giving you x has to be less than zero, then you need to take that into consideration. x belongs to r and x less or equal to zero. For the range, y, y belongs to the real numbers, and y is always going to be bigger or equal to one. It's because the smallest y ever going to get is one. Now let's find an inverse over here. Okay, we're going to swap it. So I have x equal to y squared plus 1. Subtract 1 and y is equal to x minus 1. With the radical root for the domain, this is really f inverse of x. The domain does have the restriction. You know, x minus 1 has to be bigger than or equal to 0, which is saying x has to be bigger or equal to 1. So let's write that x belongs to real, x is bigger than 1. For our range, y, y belongs to the real numbers. This chunk is always going to be bigger or equal to 0. So it's a positive number, right? Let's keep on moving. Let's do number 3. I'm going to pick up the pace a little bit. For number 3, Let's go on to solve a question we have here at uh, y is equal to x squared plus 1. X plus oh, I think we already solved this one. Let's go on actually to number 4. I have f is equal to cubic root of x plus 3 minus 1. The graph for this one, it's an odd function. When x equal to minus 3, we have an interesting 0 here, and it's minus 1. So the curve looks like a cubic, but shifted. Cubic root. So as you can see from this graph, there's no restriction on any x or y. So our domain is all real numbers. Okay. Range has no restriction either. Let's solve for inverse. So I have x is equal to, I'm going to swap it as I go along with it, minus 1. And then it would be x minus 1 plus 1 cubed minus 3. That's equal to y, equal to the inverse of x. Okay, this is a cubic one, there's no restriction, so domain is all x belongs to real, and range, keep on writing y here, range is belongs to all real numbers as well. Okay, let's go on to number five. Uh, 
I have y is equal to x minus 2 cubed plus 1. Once again, it's a cube, so there's really no restriction. Domain is x, x belongs to the whole real number. Range is that range belongs to the entire real. Let's solve for inverse. So I have y, so it's x minus 1 equal to y minus 2 cubed. And solving for y, so I have x minus 1 cubic root. So I swapped here. I already swapped x and y over here, and I'm solving for y now. Okay, plus 2 for the y. This is my inverse of x. There's no restrictions on those, so x belongs to r, and range has no restriction either. Okay. So 4 and 5 are pretty easy to solve in that there's no restriction on any of them. So problem-wise, it's pretty easy. Now let me go back and touch on the problem a little bit more. That's an that's a interesting one in that uh, we had a function y equal to minus this minus 1. Okay. Now the domain for this one, x has to be bigger than 0 because this chunk requires to be positive. Okay, last this clip, we went over what the range is going to be. So range belongs to R. This chunk is positive. It's always the largest can ever get is 0. So Y has to be bigger than minus 1. Okay. Graph-wise, this curve looks like minus 1 and goes downward. Okay, so this is X, this is Y. For its inverse, I have X equal to minus, minus 1 here. So x plus 1 squared is equal to y, equal to the inverse of x. Since this one has no restriction, our domain is that x belongs to the whole real numbers, and range is belongs to the entire. All right. Well, I hope this has helped you. Hi, this is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Stock channel on YouTube. As always, I love to hear about your math questions. Till next time, have a confident day.